Oh man, you guys, you have no idea how annoyed I am right now. I just recorded about a half an hour's worth of content for you. And unfortunately, the um, software that I was using decided not to save it when I saved it. So without further ado, I'm going to have attempt number two, or technically this would be attempt number three, because it already happened once within only five minutes of content. So we'll see what happens. All right. Bear with me, guys. Thank you so much for the patience. I know it has been a wild ride and it's been a minute since I uploaded another one of these videos. Um, yeah, this is going to be rough. <laughs> Here goes nothing. Uh, one eternity later. Alrighty, since it didn't work the first time, I'm going to make sure I kind of give you a quick preview of what the heck has been going on. So, without further ado, you're going to notice that there's a big old box missing out of the window. I promise I still have the box. It is underneath my monster because I'm going to put the babies in here. So, soon I'll be doing a video about that. But right now, I removed three out of the four spider plants that I had out of that box. I gave them away in a plant trade to a friend of mine, Kelly. She's amazing. I absolutely love her. She's so sweet. She gave me a lot of stuff for the spider plants that I had given her. Mainly because um, the three that I had besides this one, they were all producing babies. Like insane amount of babies. And they were really young plants too. So I was very shocked. So I couldn't keep up with it. And I couldn't figure out how to propagate them to save my life. So what I did was give her those in exchange for the many pieces of Hoya and lipstick plant that she has bestowed upon me. So there's one jar, two jar, three, four. There's four total jars for uh, lips, bleh, Hoya, Carnosa, and um, the lipstick plants. So, I mean, we got that going for me. So I'm excited. Only thing is I'm stressed out for the Hoya because I don't have any rooting hormones. So that's going to be a little bit on the difficult side, but we'll see what happens. Now, for this spider plant, and I'm going to show you. As you can see, there's no protrusions, no stems outside of the leaves that are already here. I trimmed it a couple. Um, but that's how you can really tell the difference between like an infant uh, plant, specifically spider, and an adult one. Uh, the other ones matured very, very quickly, which I was shocked about because this one did not. There, this has not produced any babies. So that's why I kept it because I, I felt bad if I gave this one to her and it would have been a dud. So we're going to see what happens. If it does grow, then I'm going to try to propagate it or try to figure out how to propagate it. We'll see what happens. Definitely going to try to figure out propagating. I move my Raven's Easy from the ginormous pot that I had bought it in into a smaller one. This way it's going to promote a stronger root system because the root system in that ZZ plant was absolutely terrible. So I'm going to see if I can get it a little bit stronger and see if I can promote some growth. Once again, no hormone. I didn't even add fertilizer to that. Now, for my rubber plant, she's happy. She's, she's, look at that. She's freaking happy. Oh, that does a mass casualty and I need to sleep, sweep. <laughs> I really can't talk today, you guys. But I mean, she's definitely happy because I can do that to her leaves and they don't fall off. This one's not as stiff, but you, she was very depressed and she was dropping a shitload of leaves. As you can tell from all the little kind of nicks in the uh, stems there. There, she had a lot of leaves. Keyword, had. But a lot of things went wrong with her when I had originally bought her from a gnat infestation, which I was really upset because I had gotten it from my favorite um, gardening spot that's really, really close to me. It's like 10 minutes away from me because I'm in Glastonbury and it's in Manchester. For those of you that also live in Connecticut, you know exactly who who and where I'm talking about. I'm not going to mention names because I don't want to slander them or anything. They are still my favorite place to go. They always have stuff that I want and they're always at a very reasonable price. They had no idea what had happened and they don't even know where it came from. So I feel bad because a lot of people were blasting them all over the internet and it's, it, it, it happens. They're a freaking nursery. They're a garden. It's gonna happen. But as 
people in the gardening community, we have to know how to adapt. And I did. And I managed to completely get rid of all of the problems with this plant, specifically the gnat infestation. It was really easy. Um, in prior videos, I have mentioned this concoction more than once a time. And yes, it is cloudy water for a reason. This is 90% water, or I should say 98% water, 1% Dawn, unscented Dawn dish soap that they use on like baby animals for the oil spill and, um, 1% hydrogen peroxide. You heard it because if I go like that, look at their soap and I only shook it twice. It's really easy. It's not harmful to the plant in any way. I can spray it on any plant, the soil, the base of the stems itself. They will be fine. They will be healthy. And it's really, really good for mealybugs as well, which for some reason, my jade, as you can tell from the dying things right here, it did have mealies. And you can also tell from those little splotches, those are dried up and dead. So that's good. I, I, it did really well. The whole plant was infested, which I was very, very, very upset about, but we cured it. And then I have to check this bad boy because when it comes to succulents, mealies really love to just go after them. So I found some in the soil. So at some point I'm going to have to completely replace the soil for the string of pearls and purge everything, possibly separate it into two pots rather than one and see what happens. But I really hope it doesn't come down to it. I just hope I can completely replace the soil for this one and hope for the best. So we'll see what happens. And then for these bad boys over here, the Hoya, I don't know what it's doing, to be honest. It's just, just doing the weird wispy thing going up. It's my silver splash that I got from Logis. But she's happy and she's just doing the weird leg thing. So I'm going to let her. I'm not going to really knock her. I mean, look at there's little, little baby leaves coming here. And then this Hoya, she's a slow grower. I don't know why, but she's trying. She's, she's trying. You can see that little bud right in the center. So we'll see what happens. I have literally no clue what is going to be growing out of that because they're nodes that I picked up out of my, um, mixing station outside. It's not really a station, but I was repotting something and I didn't remember pulling any babies. So the only thing that I do recognize is this very, very little one, the green one right there. If you follow the little thing, there's a bulb and I think that's a ZZ. I just don't know which type of ZZ. So we'll find out if it's a raven baby or a big ass, whatever crackhead ZZ this is. Oh, well, I think it's the regular one, but you know what I mean, you guys. I had to put it in this big, big pot. As you can see, it's a tight, and I have big hands. You guys know this. I have big hands. So, I mean, it's a pretty heavy duty pot. I just watered these bad boys the other day. Uh, Nancy, I think if I say your name right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I say your name wrong. Nancy M Molinari, she gave me these and I finally propagated them and managed to build strong root systems this bad boy has a little bulb on top, which I'm very happy about. So we'll see how these grow. I'm excited and stressed because I don't, I've never worked with cacti before. This is the only cactus that I've been working with. And then the moon cactus that I originally had in here, but I decided, no, I don't want anything to do with it. So we're there right now. We're not going to talk about my dolphin. I just refuse to talk about it. And yes, I'm sure you guys remember it was like, down to here and super like catching on me every single time I want yeah let's not talk about that like at all non-existent uh, <laughs> um then we have my polia peperomioids also known as a Chinese money plant and well yeah this is this isn't even all of them this is the smallest of the babies that are it was able to separate then we have some more babies Ooh, some more babies and the mama with some more babies. This is ridiculous. My plants are on crack cocaine and I'm sick of it. So that's where we're at there. Uh, once they get a little bit more um, grown, I'm going to start selling the babies because the mama, I don't, honey, I don't know what you're doing, but you need to stop it. You need to chill. So we're there with the plea of peperomioids. I figured I'd update you on that. And then for other propagation, which I'm excited to show you guys is a little experiment so i'm sure you all recognize that white substance it is not kidding just a perlite there's just perlite and water in here i have the bottoms of these succulents completely covered 
and in water slash perlite. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna, oh, I think that's a piece of my hair. Oh, well. Yeah. The And if you didn't know, hair is actually really, really good when it breaks down into soil for plants, the nutrients. I think it's the nitrogen in the hair. If I could be mistaken, I might. I can't remember, but I'll look it up for you guys. Then I also have some of the spider babies from the original spider plants that I had given away to experiment on how to propagate these things because I suck at propagating spider plants. So I have just the little little bottoms, little nodes, just kind of soaked in the perlite and the water and we'll see what happens with these. I'm, I'm very nervous to be honest. And then I have my little string of string of pearls as an experiment. It's more string of turtles, but I might have to buy a whole plant because I'm not really having much success with the string of turtles. I'm so sorry, Kelly, you gave me them. And then all the little leaflets, the, the little itty bitty ones, like the singular turtle shells, as I like to call them, they all died. And I, and I did the thing where you let them dry and then you missed them. And it was, it was very, like my heart was broken when they all died. So this is the only thing that I have left. And then this I bought online um, from a lovely lady in Cali. I can't remember your name for the life of me because we only had that brief contact one time, but I'm definitely going to look it up. She sold some variegated string of hearts and I'm happy to send uh, more people your way. Um, but you just have to let me know when you have more of these in stock. And besides that, yeah, no, this one's doing really well. This is the smaller of the two. I'll give the other one to my friend Chelsea because she doesn't have good luck with stringed plants. So I figured, you know what, let me give her the one that grows a lot better or had the most growth. But this one is also on crack. Like it was only within the area of this part of the pot. So this was the first thing that grew. And then this one's just like, we're just going to go here for now. Yeah. I mean, I mean, everything's going pretty good in, in retrospect. Um, hmm. Ooh, I know. Hold on, guys. We have this travesty right here. I don't know what to do with it. And I'm losing um, my joy with this bad boy, this, the fish hooks. And I'm thinking of keeping it to learn how to propagate it, like separating a bit and propagating to see what happens. And then selling the rest of the plant for those of us that really love string succulents and such. I'm just not really, there's no joy being brought to me for the Senecio. So I might get rid of it. And if so, I'm going to separate it into parts, rooted parts, and sell it that way. So for everyone that's interested, please, please, please let me know. I am not shipping them. So this is Connecticut locals only, and I am willing to deliver at a small charge. I really love driving. So please feel free to ask me and I'll happily deliver. It's not a problem. And uh, we will figure it out as we go. So that, yeah, I just keep staring at it right now and it's just making me miserable. So we're not. And this used to be when it was hanging for just just as an example, as you can see, it's it's kind of going out this way because I have it resting on the shelf. But it used to be touching the floor. When it was hanging, it was about right where that ZZ was and it come, came down to here. And I was just like, no, I can't be bothered. So I trimmed it and now it's, it, it's growing more. <sighs> I, I can't win. I really can't win with that thing. So we'll see what happens. And then I want to update you on these pothos that I have right here. I moved these, the golden and the marble that were originally in this big ass terracotta pot into this very small pot that I got from Home Depot. Um, it's doing a lot better. It's a lot happier. So you can literally do that. And it has the weird elasticity. It bounces back. So I'm very happy and excited. And for some reason, I just noticed... Right before I started recording this segment of the video. This is a jade leaf. It's pure green. However, the leaf, and I'm going to show you, there's one leaf coming off of it. It's a half jade, half marble variegated leaf. So then I'm excited to see what the hell this turns into. Could be a marble. Could be a jade. Could be a hybrid. I don't know what I did. I might have Frankenstein some of my uh, pothos there. We do have golden. And then I did find a golden leaf um, with some marble in it. So it was half golden and I'll show you what I mean. 
Um, so it was this variegation of golden and it had like this variegation or even closer to that variegation on the other half of the leaf. It was very interesting. So we'll see what monster I've produced in a bit. Then for these pothos, the pearl and jade living its best life. I mean, look at it. She's reaching out. Look at you go. I really do have good luck with pothos. <laughs> Oh my God. Well, mm -hmm. <sighs> love it. Absolutely love it, guys. Ugh. Oh my God. Well, let me first do the thing where, you know, listen. All right. Well, believe it or not, I just found out that the baby was having a baby. That's lovely. Wonderful. Great. I have to fucking replay. Oh my god. Oh, look at the baby's having another baby. Well, we're gonna keep you in water for as long as possible. What's this doing? Oh, look at that. It's growing roots and putting out a baby. Well, I might have figured a thing. The paralyte works, guys, because they're roots. They're literal roots. And now I'm very sad, so we're gonna kind of sort out the oh nope you need to stay there it's now depressing as hell because I just knocked out all this pair of light well I'm not that lucky I'm just trying to like pack it so they don't go flying You know what? I know what I can do. You. I need to put the whole strand underneath. Maybe. I don't know. I'm just really upset now I have to sweep even more. But we'll worry about that at the end of the video. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go like this. There. Oh my god, I'm so annoyed at that. Mm, Jesus. H. Christ. Alright. Well... Apparently all my socks, or not my socks, my sandals. Um, ugh, my God. I don't remember what I was saying. Son of a bitch. All right. Well, I'm going to do a weird thing. So hold on, guys. Do, 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 do. Do. All right. So I'm back. I just kind of wrapped the phone around me. So the freaking wire. And I had Bluetooth earbuds, but I wasn't sure if they had a mic on them or they're going to use the external mic from my phone. I didn't want to risk it and not have audio the entire time I'm recording. So, yeah, this is where we're at. I hate these earbuds with the burning passion. Then, with this pothos, you can see it's happy. Look at it. It's so happy. I don't know what's wrong with this one, but it's so happy. And it's got a baby. I'm so, uh, I'm so happy about this. And then, what I was going to show you guys is that I trimmed these bad boys. My Brazil, my philodendron Brazil was all the way over there. However, it was just kind of like getting leggy and like looping around the rungs of this bamboo shelf. So I was just like, mm, we can't have that. So I cut them and I tried to keep the length at the same length of the remainder of this plant, the Cebu Blue. I did trim. Same thing with this. This one was just too awkward for me to just cut. So I just let it grow until it gets longer. But as you can see, it's very barren on one side. So I'm going to see if I can change that at all. I'm going to actually move this around a little bit. See if that helps. But no, they all kind of want to grow over here. So we'll figure it the frick out. And then I'm going to also turn this so it gets a little bit more sun than normal. So we'll see what happens. So now I have the barren side facing the sun because this is a south facing window so the, the sun starts over here and goes <whistles> that way and it's wonderful now this are the remnants of said thing said <laughs> thing said plants so yeah i'm gonna fill this with water and i'll show you at what level i stop filling it two seconds guys later oh, guys what am i doing a thing a bad thing. 
So we're going to go like that. And then I'm going to kind of just show you how much I water. And yes, I did it with this because I didn't want it to be awkward when I tried to record it in the sink. So I'm just kind of making sure all the good nodes are covered. And believe it or not, they all are. So I filled a little bit over halfway. So I would say enough to wear all of those. Ooh, look, it looks like a laser. Well, all the nodes that don't have leaves, almost all of them anyways, are covered or have water right by them. So that's good. And then I'm just gonna kind of go like this, waste not what not, water some uh, stuff, because why not? And I have the water anyways. Um, let's just water you guys because you'll like it. There. All right. So that's all set and dandy. I'm going to find a place for that eventually. I don't know where the hell I'm going to put it. But I'm going to put it somewhere. Actually. Hmm. I could put it somewhere like right there. But that has to grow up. These don't have to grow up. So what I'm gonna do, do do do. I'm gonna move these propagation. And yes, yeah, so this is a bath rack, like for the bathroom. Believe it or not. But these are all my clean ones, so I keep my clean ones over here. This doesn't need to be right there. So we're gonna, we're gonna pop you right there. And then, holy shit, we're gonna, oh shit, that's heavier than I thought it was gonna be. Boopity boop, boop de boo. So we're gonna make sure all of these, I'm gonna turn them so they have light, kind of like drape them this direction. So it's gonna be weird because once again, they, uh, no, you need to go in the water, you son of a gun. There, there we go. So they're all kind of draped this way so they get all that photosynthesis to promote growth. I'm not putting anything in that water. Nothing. When I get to the first month and I see root growth, then I'm going to drop like a little bit of plant food in there. But until then, nah, we're not doing that. And then my Chinese money tree, look at you. She, well, ignore the stand, but... This is a 10 inch pot and look at her, look at her being her beautiful self, putting out leaves left and right. And then look at more leaves and then look at more leaves. And then I can't wait to show you my pride and joy in a second. Ooh, I'm so excited for you guys. My baby is having a baby. Look at it. So if you can't tell, I'm going to show you like the thickness. Mind you, this is the baby that I was telling you about. I told you in a couple of weeks. I was wrong about a couple of weeks. It was like a month. But let's, let's not talk about that. Ready? Look at that. Ooh. You can see from the thickness. So this is the original stem. This is the separation of the original stem. This baby is going to be fucking huge because... I'm just, I'm just gripping about some of it. And this is only the top part of the leaf that's come through. There is a whole other part of the leaf that's coming through. Oh my God, you guys, you not understand how happy I am. We're not going to talk about that accident either. I'm going to hide that. But yeah, she, she a mess. I'm shocked. She's, and but she's like, look at, she's fine. She's fine. The leaf isn't dying. It's just the edges are, and I'm still upset about that but we're, we're not going to talk about the thing that was at fault here this <laughs> but yeah no these these babies are thriving and i'm so happy and then if i come down here look at my little baby i don't know i don't know where this thing came from but it just popped up just out of nowhere it just came up out of the soil i'm just so content right now and this one got a little bit abused when it grew I think, I think something caught it. I might have walked around and, and I walked by and accidentally knocked it. But 
you know that's that's what it looks like because it's just dry the edges are just drying up that's all so I mean that's a good sign that nothing else is eating it but it's a new healthy healthy leaf this one's a new healthy leaf too it's warm compared to this one this one's cold as hell oh my god all right then what else are we gonna do today I don't think I'm going to do much else today. I mean, it was just kind of update you. And oh my God, I just remembered. Step ladder because I'm short. Guess who's having babies? Look at that baby. Look at Ooh, this is hard. This is a hard angle. <gasps> there's a third one. Look at I'm. A, I was supposed to show you this one, but there's a third one. Oh, man. And then there's SpongeBob right back there. Perfect. There's nothing else popping up, but we've got three aloe babies. And as I'm going to fall off the stool if I try to stand back, but the aloe is so big. Look at this bad boy. Oh my God. And the bamboo. I don't know what the bamboo is doing. It's stagnant right now, but it's healthy and happy and it's doing its thing. So I'm not going to really bother it. Just give it water and also when I first started taking care of it I was only giving it bottled water yeah however I learned that this specific bamboo doesn't mind tap water and most bamboo like filtered water I was giving it pull and screen springs and it makes it happy and look at this bad boy look at how happy my silver is very very happy oh, I'm so content you guys you have no idea I'm going to try to pot this. Those are my string of banana that I tried rescuing a long time ago. So we'll see what happens. But I honestly don't even know where to start with that one. And then my Mikeins. Peep the marble. <laughs> my Mikeins is actually very, very healthy. Thank you so much, Chelsea. I love you two bits. Because you're the one that gave me this cutting. And look at it thriving. I'm just waiting for a little bit more leaves to grow. Just so it has more um, more ways to photosynthesize. And the root system strong. I know the root system is strong. That's not what I'm worried about. But I want more leaves. So it has a huge chance. And it's continuing to grow. Like it's on crack as well. So we're going to really leave you there. And then show off my lovely arrowheads my syngonium i'm gonna turn you because you're trying to unfurl some leaves right now and what i do is i rotate so this bad boy just sprouted it up like uh, earlier in this week so i'm excited that it's spreading underneath the soil and then this one looks like a hybrid believe it or not hmm we'll see but these this one i think it's called the maria the Maria, this one's the Maria, and I think this is the Berry Illusion. The Maria is just putting out leaves left and right, but she's very slow to unfurl. So what I do is when I see her like trying to unfurl stuff, I turn it so this one's in towards the bookcase and this one gets the most sun. Plus, I want it all growing straight up rather than near this way and near that way. So well, I have to rotate every once in a while, and that's what I was doing with the Chinese money plant. I just keep rotating her. So like right now I'm going to have to move her from the wall and probably put her over here sometime soon. But right now I'm just trying to get the babies to grow out and keep going from there. And then the only other children I have over here is my snake plants. This was, I forget where I got the snake plant from, to be honest. I can't remember for the life of me. I got it from somewhere. I forget what store I got it from, but... I'm shocked that these are alive because normally, especially when they're twisted against each other and all that, they don't do so well, but it's surviving. And then this was originally a, like a minuscule baby. It's growing so much. And this is the baby that I put out. And look at this. Look at how healthy that looks. And I have to turn it because this leaf is new. This is when I can't really move that much and I refuse to move it anywhere near that window because I know it's going to kill itself. Um, just trying to like check and see if there are any babies, but some of these leaves on the bottom are dying off, but that's okay. Um, besides that, yeah, that's what we have, what we're working with. And unfortunately, because 
this part of the leaf was hiding underneath this one. I just discovered this now. Because this leaf was underneath this one, it wasn't able to photosynthesize. So I'm going to have to trim it and um, make it look a little bit better. So I'm going to get rid of this piece. Um, not the whole leaf, but just this. I'm going to show you how I do that. I'm going to have to switch hands for this because I am a righty and not a lefty, even though you guys have probably seen me right with my left hand a million times. I'm using a little itty bitty baby scissors because it's a little bit more accurate, especially when it comes to using this for a leaf. So what I like to do is I, I like to go as far as I can to get close to the damage. And I don't like that how this is focusing, but I'm trying not to look at the screen. And then I angle it. So you can't see it because now it's behind. I angled it. Stop it. Ugh, I can't do this alone, guys. This is going to be annoying. <laughs> this is the finished product right here. I mean, I try to make it as leafy shaped as possible, but as you can see, these leaves are shaped very weird. So I try to cut it at an angle, but it's going to promote some type of growth. But considering it was just hiding behind this freaking leaf, I'm going to try to keep it like at the edge. And then this baby's coming through. This is a very happy, healthy, cause watch. Very happy, healthy. I'm, I don't even think I wanna take it out of that jar. I might, but we shall see. Um, yeah, guys, it's been a wild ride. Hey, hey. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's where we're at right now with propagation and everything. And you can see part of my YouTube setup, kind of not really until I, you know, move out and get everything going but yeah this is where we're at right now um i'm definitely going to be uploading a video on how i'm going to be selling this and separating it and everything i'm definitely going to try to figure out how to propagate as well to make sure that when i give these to you you can continue to propagate as such and make sure your plant gets nice and big and thick so yeah without further ado thank you so much for watching everybody and joining me on this wonderful ride that is my plant care and the jungle that I live in. <laughs> Thank you so much. I love you all so much. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.